the door to despair always opens suddenly. Damn! I don't know what's going on. It's probably because I spammed through things last time I was here. Don't worry. Hey, I'm ready to play again. I'm in a great mood to do everybody voice. What? Good job. <laughs> Welcome back. Ah, okay. Bro, did you just like, I don't know. Who you, f you looking at like that? He got a little stronger neck. It's like, damn, punching me in the back of the, all right. RP my last year. My guess is, my guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd at least be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. Seems that it can even detect your head heartbeats and breathing patterns. I get it. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekamaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> he did not like hearing he was heartless, bro. He got the biggest heart out of all of us. Besides me. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensors won't detect it, but... Shushing! Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice! Stop it, Detroit Become Human. Sorry, you're right. Mm. And once I enter sleep mode... And I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> and I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. Okay, so they want to test these senses by using someone without a heartbeat. Got you. It is far too dangerous. Even as an experiment, it is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then... Why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. And if by chance the handbook is still here, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. Watch out, Mike. You're new here, relax. We left behind Chiaki's e-handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, I should probably talk to Chiaki, but everybody in my hey. face. Including Nekomaru's functions, Monokuma sure does have a lot of useless technology. But still, Monokuma looks like he's pretty high tech himself. All right. Chiaki, what you got to say, sweetheart? Hey, it's always hey. nice to just look at her. After traveling from Strawberry Hall to Strawberry Tower, if the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same building. Monami, what do you have to say? Hey, why'd you create such an ugly looking building? Not gonna lie, this building is trash. What? Like I said, it wasn't me! Um, well, you know, it already existed back when it was an attraction at the amusement park. You're so evil! But Monokuma's the one who modified it like this! It's his, all his fault! Make it sound so easy. How much time and energy did he put into modifying a building like this? 
Haji, why are you still talking like you really don't? <laughs> like there's no world ender. Like you didn't discover that yourself. Sleep mode is convenient. But while I'm sleeping, I'm utterly defenseless no matter what happens. Even I'm a little worried about being left alone in that state. You're gonna die, got you. So basically, if he goes to sleep at all during this game, lights off for, for Boo Boo Ass Nekamaro. Boo Boo Blocker Nekamaro, that's his new name. Jeez. Boo Boo Blocker, Triple B, LeVar Ball. Y'all said it looked like LeVar Ball, relax, bro. Somebody said that in stream yesterday, y'all niggas. Anyway. I can't believe he has such high quality sensors and created such an elaborate setup. Well, it's not like this is something new. This whole time, Monokuma has been doing a lot of intricate stuff. All right, let's just get to, uh, the rest of this cast is kind of whack. Like, Gundam, I don't even care to talk to you yet, bro. Oh, Strawberry Tower, got you, got you, got you. I'm like, you want me to run all the way there? But no, you got to get through here. Uh, okay, just straight through the door, got you. I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Wart. Oh, wait, never hey. mind. Toad's Wart? What is he talking about? What are you talking about? What was that? We're not just even to fly by warts like that. Sonya be, this is the thing about Sonya. Anytime she get around a dude, that's not Kaizuchi Soda, Kazuichi Soda. Linked arm in arm. She's ready to go explore the world. Don't nobody know what she really doing with him. Why for he go speak up when she mentioned warts? Like, what are you talking about? Like, he's like, she's about to explode. For you, what did you give Sonya? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems like it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly uh. close. If the two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. Hmm. All right, let's head over to the Strawberry Tower. I gotta relax on my jokes, bro. What you find out, Gundam? <laughs> now then, let's see what results awaits us. Have you fiends made up your mind? Don't forget to pray to your god. Well, it's not like I have a god to pray to, anyway. My name is Gundam Tanaka. I already know. God, I'm not even finna read that, bro. That's why I don't talk to him in free time. Hey, hey. Okay, Chiaki, I understand the plot, okay? Why am I getting mad at her? I usually don't. If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry hey, hey. Tower. Then I'll press Stay it. Back. Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? Of evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Supernova, Silver Fox, Sandy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it pressed the button. <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> Soon, the door of destiny shall open. There she go. That's exactly what I was like. Y'all say I make all sexual jokes only, but then when I then when I call it out before it happens and it happens, what y'all what y'all say in the comments then? Nothing. Y'all never give me my credit. You've appeared. I see. Your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements, as expected of the Dark Lady. You have my praise and my warts. <laughs> Truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Th th thank you. Gundam, are you getting blushed for my nig? What? You got feelings? You got a little fancy in your heart for Sonya? Huh? Look at her. Look, 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 look at him. Look at this nigga. Pff, you didn't need to bother making your hamsters press it. 
Just as I thought, it's taking a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. And there goes the handbook, just as we expected, all of us watching these videos. Ah, look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing, it's there. The handbook! Yep. There's no doubt. This is my student handbook. <gasps> if the handbook Chiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall Tower, becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Wow! Then, um, then, that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape's Hall, Grape House's Grape Hall. Wow! This is troubling. That's what y'all want me to do when I reach it like this? Wow! <laughs> but it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, and I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. You know what the next secret is, Nagito? One of us gotta die to get out of here. Which one is it gonna be, Nagito? As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. What? Don't, don't talk to my girl like that, bro. Seriously, if you have a compliment to make, tone it down a little bit. Tell her that she's cool. Tell her that's cool, Chiaki, good work. Good work is excellent. Don't ever tell my girl she's truly anything. Say she says she's truly Haji Maze, how about that, bitch? Normally, all you do is stare in the, there, okay, money. Round one, fight! You know this is how Hajime square up with his shoulders moving. No head movement, no feet movement, just shoulders. And what do you want to do? Like Haji swing, bro. But at times like this, you really pull through for us. Don't take that compliment, Yaki. Exactly. Good girl. Good girl. Golly, is she a dog? Let me let me play the game, guy. I mean, I mean, in this. My name. However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil. There's probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Um, who are you again? <laughs> I'm Monami. Why did you forget about me? That reminds me. Whatever happened to that Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Shushing! According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. Huh? Is it that time Damn already? It. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma appears! It's only right, bro. Me to answer. Every single day, up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life, right? Guys. But did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Yeah. Ah, well, it's totally true that I am pretty, but. Hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there are no windows here. So it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. 
<laughs> I don't like this. What are you gonna use? You just fucking piss me off. <clears throat> What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor, first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. Yeah. And it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Mm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Yeah. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm. hmm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes, yes let's do that. Let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but, well, I, I guess it makes sense. This, too, must be the will of causality. You said three words. Why does the voiceover have you, like, reciting Shakespeare and shit? Then ladies... <clears throat> Sorry, that's not his voice. Then ladies first. Now then, let us begin. Choose which house you would like. Um, Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Whoa. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Okay. Also, each house had guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? But there are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. <laughs> Then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Yo, if you're trying to fight, bro, relax. Okay. Splash. Rock, paper, scissors, of course. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. And the results... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I ended up winning so easily. You all are so predictable. It's insane. That's right. I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. And it's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's me! I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. This dude's still talking about me. That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. That's what I did. Hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms as yeah. well? Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia and I have the deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Huh? huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room it's left over. like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. I feel like Akane is going to end up killing Nekamaro because she feel bad that he's living like this. Like, like put, put, him out of his, put him out of his misery kind of thing. Um. I'm just letting y'all know my predictions, bro. So there is a standard room and a crummy room <laughs> left. Hajime, if you would like... Please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You, you, you can't do that! Oh, my. Why not? No. I, I, I mean, uh, it's da dangerous. It's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you um. know? 
What are you saying? Sonia? But what, what, what am I? Uh, uh, <clears throat> huh? <laughs> huh? No. We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Even I don't think he'd try to trick us. <laughs> it seems you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Nigga, you started the rumor. Hey. Uh, really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Hajime, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll just stay in the crummy room. But even so, it, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Oh, man. It, like, it doesn't make any sense. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of the Strawberry House. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of the Grape House. Jeez, uh, just as I thought, I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> what, it's funny? Bro. So this is the second floor of the Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Hmm? What do you mean? Um. You see, Strawberry House is quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you should have think about petty stuff. Sleepy. Go to go to sleep, sweetheart. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yeah. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then. So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good Night idea. Babe. Night, babe. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her good deluxe day. room. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, Zelda. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Pamela Anderson. After exchanging good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. And I should get some sleep too. Um, I think I was assigned to the crummy rooms that's next to the lounge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right across from it. Boom, boom, boom. Is this not? Oh, wow. This room stink, don't it? Okay, no, that's grapes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Whoops. I'm like, golly, we've been up in here. Nekamaro. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I'll definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. This has nothing to do with the story ever. That's what I'm saying, bro. What is Doki Doki literature? To Man, tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I choked you out. It's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. All right. Let's see. The time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. 
Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. Or it might be or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Now I'm definitely going to talk to somebody. Who though? Maybe I should talk to Gundam. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk to him, but I gotta give bro a chance. Unless I can only talk to people in my in my uh in my house. Sonya, you're not providing me much of anything. I feel like Nekamaru really might die next, so I'm actually gonna talk to him instead. I can't get his crystal after. Of course you'd be surprised by this metallic body of mine. <laughs> However, I'm still me. I hope we get along like we did before. Bro, you're so self-conscious about yourself. I haven't brought up your body once, but you always wanna talk about it. Yes, invite him to hang out. That's right! Talk to me about anything, man! Nekamaro, real one. I received lots of different advice from Nekamaro today. Looks like Nekamaro and I grew a little closer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's see what I got for Nekamaro. Might need some, I don't know, car wax, WD-40, um... Maybe, like, new headlights. Let's see what I can get from bro. RC cars, you might like this. A key item. What? RAM? Yeah, he might need that for his processor. Okay. Cookies? No, sir. He can't eat that. Potato chips? No, sir. That's not for you. Jewelry? He might like that. He, I mean, that's like... I don't know. Why not? <clears throat> what is this? What is it? It's a strange thing you have. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're giving it to me, I'll gladly accept it. Yo, Nakamaru. There's something I've been worrying her about ever since we first met. Mm hmm? You've been thinking about me that much? I see. I guess it's, I guess I must accept it. Come on, bring it on! D -d don't don't misunderstand. Hey, hey, why are you walking toward me? Didn't you just tell me to come to you? What? I was about to offer to do it to you. What's it? I sort of want to know. Wait, I definitely don't want to find out. Well, <laughs> I sort of want to know. Like, Haji, if we if we never followed Nekamaro and Akane to the house to see what he was actually doing with the massages, Haji, you'd be looking like, I don't know, something about you we don't know about. Fine, then. So, what were you going to talk about? Yeah. I wanted to ask you why you're just a team manager. <laughs> just? Are you mocking the management profession? N no. I didn't mean huh? it like that. Haji, you don't know anything. All roads lead to managers. Oh, here we go. Some, some real life shit. If you yearn to master something... You'll naturally require manager's help. <laughs> Countless records in this world were, would not exist without managers. The bond between a top-notch athlete and their manager is one that cannot be severed. Bond. Until now, I've been with various athletes. Yeah, looking back, they were, were all splendid athletes. I had a baseball player who got an offer to join the major leagues while he was still in middle school. A figure skater who performed six and a half spins. And a tennis player who managed to win a 36 hour long match. They were all people who surpassed me. Do people like that really exist? <laughs> now that you understand, don't mock managers. As long as you never do that, <laughs> I'll lead you to victory, no matter the match. I'm not much of a sports guy anyway, but more important, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, 
Nekamaru is an amazing guy. Hmm. Did you just praise me in your heart? <laughs> huh? How did you know? When you and I face each other like this, we are all we, <laughs> we are one in both body and mind. I can easily see what you're thinking. One in both body and mind. I really don't want that. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm used to being showered with praise. <laughs> I'm so popular that there are teams all over the place fighting for me. That's crazy in so many ways. But there's no denying that he's an amazing guy. I feel like I got to know Nekamaru a little bit better. It's a shame you finna die in a few minutes. After listening to Nekamaru talk about his heroic escapades for a while, I went back to my cottage. Um, there should be time for me to move around more freely. Look who just decided to show up, like, <laughs> why was you just over in a cut staring at me talking to Nekamaru? What's up, baby? Oh, she's not having a good day. Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Okay. Okay, like, how did I end up? Oh, I went back to my room. That's what happened. Okay. Now I'm gonna talk to who I think is the culprit. Let's see if we can connect any dots. Yo, Akane, wake up. Your family. Okay. Akane, what are you doing? Oh, wow. Interesting placement for Akane to be. I'm starting to get pumped up. Coach Nekamaro must be way stronger now that he's a robot. Yes, look I at her. See. She's talking about him. Well, there's nothing to do anyway. I guess I can hear you out every now and then. Spent time today talking to Akane. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Definitely. Um, we'll give her a mineral water. Huh? <laughs> You're giving this to me? Hmm. Well, I guess I got no choice but to take it. Hey, you. You're like really small. Um. H Harvey? It's Hajime. <laughs> oh, right. That's it. Well, that was close enough. Anyway, are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. Why are you body shanging me? I see. Mm, then it's okay. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. You can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know? Well, it's true that eating is necessary, but aren't you going a little Wait. overboard? Of course not. It's normal back home. Hey, Akane. I've been wondering about this for a while, but... About what? your home. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters, and my parents don't work. The only thing the so heck annoying you know how every time you get a new mom or dad you get new siblings too well that's why i don't really know exactly how many siblings i have the, that's really messed up then you took on a part-time jobs to help support your family <laughs> yep i gotta feed the little ones yeah. you know when i had my waitressing gig i'd sometimes steal I mean, borrow leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage and I also got tips too, which was pretty <laughs> sweet. Oh, and I got to keep my panties on too. Golly, I didn't let customers motiv- <laughs> Where did you work at, bro? You was working at, I don't know, Highway Breast 99 on, and you know Houston got like just highway everything, highway restaurant, highway bars, Highway, whatever, bro. 
though. Of course. Why are you so mad? I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. Oh, I see. Uh, um, sorry? No, um, I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. Oh, this is so awkward. Haji, you yeah. have zero, like, recovery. Uh, oh, I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnastics coach. I wasn't really into sports, and especially not <laughs> gymnastics. But no matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. Okay, I'm done ogling, oogling Akane. She been through some, she's like been through some real trauma, bro. He was seriously a gross old dude. That sound like me. Like, I'm kind of like looking inward right now. Like, <laughs> but thanks to him, I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home for us. Sugar daddy. Finessed him. I see. I think that's good, though. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. I feel horrible doing that to her now. Golly. After standing around awkwardly for a bit, I left the area. I tried talking to Chiaki. I tried, bro. There. Should be time for me to move around more freely. Ugh. Three free times? So this is the Monokuma archive that Nagito was telling me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future, it might be necessary to know about the enemy. Hello there. Nagi was good. Najime, are you getting along with the girls at the grape house? God, leave my nose itch. What should I do? Should I hang out with Nagito? Impossible. Yes. Your gracious invitation makes me want to cry. There's no way I could I could decline. I spent time with Nagito today talking about various things. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Nagito a present? Definitely. What would you like to give him? I don't even know what he would like, but um, I'll give him a, um, give him some big baguettes. Thanks. You're gonna give this to me? Thanks, Hajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. Even if it's trash or leftover food. Well, we have we don't have no food here, period. You should be more grateful than this. We're all in here starving. Stomachs rumbling. <laughs> um, what time is it right now? <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. It's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should get back to my room. It's gonna go down tonight. All right, at least I got blankets though. And beats a garage. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. Um, hungry. Uh -oh. Ooh, I heard what that! What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you to do all this, all this that all I can say is jeez! Ah, killing! You should just stop being stubborn! Hurry up and start the killing already! What do you want? What? My, my! You don't even have the t energy to be mad, news. huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So, everyone please gather at the Grape Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Seven in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? 
That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye -bye. Okay, then, goodbye! Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Manakuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. Two Monokuma theaters? Let's so... get it. Today I interviewed a random stranger on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results! He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all. And yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. This is trouble! starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at the Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Let me just fast forward there then. My pet, my pet! Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Do you, you don't eat either. <laughs> you don't have food either, I figured it out. We both will be in here starving. You'll never boo-boo. Nope. Mm, nope. Yo, Chiaki. Good morning, Chiaki. Are you going to Grape Tower? Huh? She walked by me without even replying. Hey, Chiaki. No, no, I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Isn't it dangerous to sleepwalk? Don't fall asleep while I'm asking that. I'll be fine. I think. You don't look fine at all. Yo, you want to go to Grape Tower together? I feel fine. I think. Is she really okay? I feel like Monokuma might have put some sleeping gas. Because where's everybody else at? Akane, why are you awake though? Akane. Yeah, what are you doing here? Well... I've been thinking about this statue. Based on my gut feeling. It's not alive or anything, but it has a strong aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the it's island. To get pumped up. Yes. That sure gets me going. Is this a person? The nameplate says ogre, so isn't this a statue of oh, an ogre? Right. Ogre or whatever, it's fine as long as it's yeah. strong. Oh, look, it's almost time. I'll head over to Grape Tower first. They gotta stop talking about my nigga, um, Sayaka. I think that was her name. As an ogre. She done put in work. Her, her death was probably the most saddest of last season. Is she thinking about fighting the strongest creature on the island? All Might who? She walked so All Might could run. All right. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Uh. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. 
Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So obviously we're more tired than you guys. Enough. Stop whining. Mm. You're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a fucking robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. And you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Um. Now that we have all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. M Monokuma Tai Chi. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't have the energy to be up here doing kicks and high yas. All right, start the music. <sighs> this is the thumbnail. Nothing but Nekamaru cake. Nekamaru's robotic solid titanium steel Make cake. Optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Nekamaru listened to Monokuma, he went <laughs> splash. See. Control your breathing, slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are. Relax. Your body and mind. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have Hell to do man, this? Don't That's the first time I ever heard him actually Here. snap. We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. You. Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you and now we're hungrier than ever. That's the motivation. That's exactly what she needed to really snap, bro. You guys. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful. But we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. That is... You intend to keep making us do this. Damn it. Guys. I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it! Nafori, how much longer <laughs> is this gonna last? This is troubling. Didn't he say? Until the killing starts. This too must be the will of causality. It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer. It wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I yeah, I might, I might as well. What What are you saying? Shut calm up, down. Shut up! I can't fucking calm Damn down. It. There's no food! There's no way to escape! If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve! <laughs> wait! Are, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? 
I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I I I got it. You you're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What what are you hey! saying? Fess up. You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I, I swear, you better. Look at baby girl. So, making a scene is just going to make us hungrier. So, let's just calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you cannot escape. Wait to die from impending starvation. Or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope? Now just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So we silently left Grape Tower. Golly, I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. But if I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. How everyone's doing? You want me to check up on everybody, bro? Then first thing, okay, wow, wow. Hajime, don't worry about what Kazuichi said. I don't think you're a traitor at all. You gonna die, Understood. my nigga, we gotta hang out. Let's see. Let's try looking for a way to escape. I spent time today exploring the fun house with Nekamaru again. Looks like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer. Yeah, he can take, uh... Nobody wants my baguette. Nobody... Bro, they was kind of boo-booing on my... He, can, he already got drinks in his head. Like, he don't need to drink, drink my stuff. So the gray ones are not key items, cool. So man's nut is a key to, is a key item, I guess, you know, it's kind of facts. Maybe they aren't key items then, cause take a tissue. <laughs> oh, this is quite an item. I know, boo boo head. I'll definitely return the favor to your body. You're good. You don't have to do that. You're good. Nekomaru was staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. Facts. Mm. What? Hajime, lend me your body. Whoa. Hey, wait. What? Whoa. whoa. Nekomaru felt me all over my body before I... <laughs> I give this man tissue. I'm not even finna go there, bro. Yo, what the what the heck, man? What's going on? <laughs> mm. J don't laugh. Just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. Huh? You must have been born with good bone structure. We need to change your diet. Bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on, what are you talking about? You, you're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about you, obviously. Huh? I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. Whether or not he decides, He's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but 
It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Let's see. For example, how about that? Using your entire body to fight over a ball. A sport that is truly the manliest of men's sports. I don't really want to think about it, though. Nakamura was probably think, talking about... Uh, is it rugby? <laughs> you got it right! Bullseye! Rugby was originally in a religious service in the Shinto religion. The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of sweat fell onto the first rice seed. By Spike Books. No way. I don't know anything about rugby, and I never even seen a match in the first place. That doesn't matter at all! Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility, and you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural on the rugby field. Aren't you overestimating me a bit? <laughs> My eyes are never deceived, even if you might be. If you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Nekamaro walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager scouting skill? I should return to my cottage for now. It should still be time for me to move around more freely. But what should I do? Nekamaru didn't give me much. Akane, I don't want to hear your sob stories. No offense. Chiaki. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Golly, you never want to talk to me no more. Are you that tired, girl? I'll get you some coffee in your system. Now, let me see. There we go. Kazuichi, we got to talk, bro. You cannot keep dissing me like this. How should I put this? I'm going to stop suspecting you for now. I mean, it's a waste of energy anyway. What should I do? Should I invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, even if we do talk, there's nothing to talk about. And I don't have the energy to talk anyway. I spent time today staring blankly into space with Kazuichi. Looks like, how do we go closer if we didn't talk? But all right, whatever. Um, Definitely. We'll give him... I gotta have like some kind of like... He might like some chips. Huh? Uh, you gonna give me that? <laughs> It's like, whatever, but... Oh well, at least it's free! Man. Ah, jeez. Why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this damn island? At this rate, I'll take anything! A go-kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. Just let me tinker with something! Baby carriages don't have engines, oh, bro. Man. There's nothing I can't dis disassemble. So I took apart the alarm clock inside my room. And when I did that... I couldn't put it back together. Hmm. So there are times when even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. <laughs> of course. This sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time I was tinkering around with thinking without thinking it before I realized it. I made some kind of car thing. <laughs> For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. I don't understand that at all. Yeah, I, I don't mind messing around with the frames or... Connecting the electrical equipment. But guys definitely need something with the rumble and some bam, bam, bam. Hey, Hajime. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I really want right now? Um, Kazuichi's probably talking about, uh, I don't see piece of ass on the, here we go, engine, yeah. You're talking about an engine, right? That's what you want to mess around with? That's right. That's exactly it. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Doing that over and over again gets my brain moving. <gasps> oh, I really miss the smell of oil. You're right. I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if there was a car here, you couldn't how drive annoying. it, so you don't have... 
What did it? I accidentally clicked. My fault. There's no way I do something annoying like that. I just get motion sickness anyway. <laughs> I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of the best. After all, they look so awesome. <gasps> Man, I really want to go home as soon as start working on my bike again. Oh, you even making a bike, awesome. huh? My dream machine is seriously awesome, you know? According to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 miles per hour. <gasps> Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. Oh! <laughs> uh, but it obviously wouldn't be street legal. And since I get motion sickness, I can't ride it anyway. What's the use of making a ride that you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. He just told you it's about disassemble, reassemble. Were you listening, Haji? Haji? After talking with Kaz Kazuichi some more, I went back to my room. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, this keeps going until I die. Whoa, 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 what am I thinking? No. If I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it, where the f is the exit? The final dead room is a challenge given to you by the headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of the door. That's right. That's definitely it. Then... I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even... run decently. Okay, let me fast travel then. Nigga, we're going. I can't even run. He really can't... They really slowed down this dude's run. It slowed down everything. This just looked like a jump scare. Hold up. Look who's down here. Look who's down. Oh, both of them. Both of them. Damn it. I lost again. I just can't unleash my power when I'm this hungry. Mm, what a pity. I still haven't gotten serious However. yet. Regardless, if I ever decide to get serious with this body, you won't even last a second. Not yet. Yeah, right. Let's train one more time. I can't believe they're going at it right now. Is it okay for them to burn energy Hold like on. this? You better not exert yourself too much. You haven't eaten in a while, after all. Don't remind me. I was finally able to forget about food. Well, you're really lucky since you can't, because you can still live even if you don't eat. Hey. Anyway, since you have that body now, does that mean you can do it with electricity? Do it to me with electricity. What the f- Won't it- <laughs> No, I can't. The same. So what's so up? We gotta go to the, um... I can't even run right. They said I had to get that cutscene in. Yes. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to embrace myself. It, if I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit should be. 
I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. It's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay. Fuck. She speak to a nigga soul, bro. Every time she get on the screen, I'm like, Golly, I need to find me a Chiaki in my life, bro. But it's not like, <laughs> yo, Chiaki don't want to be tied down, though. That's the thing. Like, she's still just worried on her own purpose. That's the only reason I really want her. If she switched up and she was like, put a ring on it, I'd be like, whoa, Akane, what's up? Just typical nigga shit. Sorry, parents who might let their kids watch me. Chiaki and I went back to the grave house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. Is it really just okay to lay here and take it or? This morning I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but I, I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. You know what's crazy too is Monokuma, the same way that he approached me while I was hungry and he was like, go ahead and kill, get this thing started. He probably went to everybody, bro. Just planted seeds in each of our heads. You know, he went to Akane. You know, Akane is the worst one right now, bro. She's the only one that really care about her body and health and all that. It's a wrap for Nekamaru. I don't know how he's gonna die, but Sleep mode sounds terrifying for him. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, oh my gosh, thank God. I thought my Akuma announcement was about to come on. I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Hmm. How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. And as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with amb amb <laughs> ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. What kind of word is that? I thought you were an English major. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Interesting. Emergency! Emergency! I had been gaming on- no. Nope. Nope. No, sir. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold, fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Oh, I felt incredibly weak from hunger. 
I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Ah, it's already five minutes till seven. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble. Not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's just go to Grape Tower. My mans cannot even sprint no more. He hidden every step. He used to skip a few steps. Oh my gosh. Ah, Hajime, good morning. Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> Whoa, what's so Amazing. funny? My goodness, Hajime. When did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? Sh she's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. <sighs> um, just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Um. You'd get a stomach ache. Oh. oh my! Now there's an adorable shortcake! That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Grape yep. Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Let's just go. Then... I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was... It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. I can't say I didn't see this coming, bro. He was definitely scared. This nigga was scared, bro, and they nobody listened. Nobody cared because they was too hungry to care, to listen. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. It's a, it kind of hurts a little bit more knowing that like I spent two free times with him today and he was just he was a good dude you know it's like it's over for him he's dead i saw the remains of our friend y'all know we end in the video right here all right, you guys, there goes our episode for today of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Very interesting to see Monokuma's motives, bro. Like, they, it's like he's picking each of us one by one. The Despair disease kind of hit us all at random, but this one seemed targeted, bro. Akane was definitely primed up to fail. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised because Nekamara probably planned this while he was healing Nekamara. I mean, Monokuma probably pl planned this while he was healing Nekamara's robotic body. Can't put it past this dude, but that's why I choked him out at the beginning of the episode. Very excited to see what happens next. You know what happens next, though? Our investigation process be its own video. Then we got the trial again. Right back in the, in the, cl in the courtroom, bro. If you're enjoying this, make sure you slap a like on that, on that, uh, <laughs> slap a thumbs up on that like button. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. Hit that bell so you know when I'm posting videos. As always, love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!